Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites where I have new videos every Tuesday. I also share an extra monthly video with my patrons or a Zoom call. If you're interested in checking out supporting me over there, that link is down in the description. Today's video is sponsored by Pen and Pillar. It is going to be sharing their new line of planners. It's 17 month planners that starts August, 2022 and goes till the end of December, 2023. They have dated and undated. I have both to show you. They have like a book cloth cover and then a more uh, coated, really thick. I mean, I would almost say like a placemat cover, but not like a placemat, but very durable. So we're gonna talk about all the covers all the insides. Before we jump in, I want to make sure you know that I have a 20% off code that is unlimited use. So you can use it over and over again with every single order. The code is Amanda's favorites. It will be down there in the description so you can always find it. So don't forget when you're checking out to punch in the code Amanda's favorites. I am notorious for forgetting to punch in codes. And then after I place my order somewhere, being upset that I forgot to punch in that code. So don't forget to use it if you're ordering from Pen and Pillar. Pen and Pillar, I have done a previous video for a couple months ago, and I'm gonna link that video down in the description because it is showcasing all their notebooks. They have so many notebook options, and you guys know what a notebook journal lover I am. I think you can never have too many. They have so many sizes and inside page options. I love their notebooks too. So definitely check out that video if you have not seen what they have available available as their notebook wise. But today we're going to jump into the planners. This is the one that I did my pen testing in. So we're going to take a look at that one first. I did share this in my last video, but in case you didn't see it, this is a small woman owned company. Almost everything is done in their small workshop in North Carolina. Is it North Carolina or South Carolina? I have it written down in here. I'm thinking it's North Carolina. Almost everything is done there just by hand, even assembling your planners by hand. Everything is made in the USA. So you need to remember that when looking at pricing and comparing it to other companies that even aren't made in the USA, but are just right around the same price. So you are supporting a woman owned small business handcrafted in a little workshop here. And they also give back to refugees within their community right there. All that information and what they do there is on their website. I love this company for the way they give back, for them trying to be used sustainable, all sustainable products and paper, and for the way that they're running their business. Each one of your planners, it'll come with this little tab. So you get these little page markers with your planner order. These are very thin page markers, like super thin. But if you don't want something sticking up in your planner, you know, you don't want something that's gonna cause a bump, but you just want to easily be able to mark a page. Those work so well. And you also get, so you get two of those with your planner order and one of these cute little geometric thin paper clips. So I just think that's a cute thing that they stick on and add to every order. And just one of the things where you can tell it's handcrafted, it's marked what your planner is right there. This one happens to be a 12 month, so you can purchase a 12 month right now. It starts, of course, January 2023 and goes through the end of December 2023. Or you can purchase an undated, which we're gonna go through, or you can purchase a 17 month planner, which starts right now in August and goes through the end of December 2023. And each one of those options comes in a lot of cover designs. So you have a lot of cover choices. I absolutely love this cover. I got to pick it out. It's so whimsical. It reminds me of like maybe the English countryside, although we do have a lot of rabbits in our neighborhood, a ton of wild rabbits actually. They cause havoc on the yards and flower beds and cause problems, but they are pretty cute. And it is fun to have some wildlife running around in a suburban neighborhood. I personally love this cover. It is very thick, it's coated on both sides, so if you spill anything on it, it's not going to absorb. Not only do I love the look of it, but I love the feel of it. It makes your planner feel so much thinner just being this thin cover versus a book cloth cover. So it just really depends on what you want. But this does bulk up your planner. Of course, it probably protects it better in a bag if you're throwing your planner in and out of a bag every day. I love the rounded corners, I love the 
artwork brought on the inside of the cover. And then we have your nameplate page. And there's a little quote there. The smallest act of kindness is worth more than the grandest intention. Then we have 2023 at a glance and 2024 at a glance. Now this is just a 12 month of 2023, remember? So they're giving you your next year at a glance. And then you have 2023 U.S. holidays, 2024 U.S. holidays, and a place to write your important dates. So anything you want to remember, birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, vacations, you write the date and the occasion down there. Goals for the year, and you have these six different categories and one that you can fill in. Personal, financial, relationships, work, fun, and other. So you do have a place to think about your goals in those different categories, kind of write down what you're thinking about for the next year. What you see in yourself is what you see in the world. 2023. Then you go into your monthly layout. It is a typical Sunday start here. You run into your next month in a light gray so you can see ahead. You have your next month down here at a glance. You have notes and then birthdays listed for the month. You have a good header space up here if you want to write a quote or a goal for the month or inspiration up there. And if you'll notice, you have six weeks here on your calendar spread. That's not really normal. Usually in almost every planner, so that is something that's unique. You don't have a six-week spread, so you're almost always sharing dates on many months in your calendar. But on theirs, you will never be sharing a date and you will actually get to see pretty far ahead or see coming into your month depending on where it falls. Having that six weeks in your boxes are not too small. Thinking about adding that extra week there, if you're wondering the size, I did not measure them, but it looks like about an inch by an inch and a half. So there's still substantial boxes there. Now, this is something that is actually unique to this planner before every single month, okay? So this is not just in the beginning of your planner. But before every single month, you have these overviews and thinking about your routines and your schedule. So every month, you have a chance to reevaluate this. That is also very unique. So you think about your morning routine for only this month. So it's not like you're setting this in stone for the year because I don't know about you guys, but my morning routine does not stay the same for the entire year. When I think about uh, school time, since I homeschool versus non-school time, also, when I think about seasons, because that really determines when I go outside for walks and everything, I change my morning and evening routine quite substantially from the summer to the winter. So you get to redo this every month. They give you 5 a.m. in half hour increments. And this is just thinking about your morning. It just goes till 11.30 a.m. Then you're thinking about your afternoon evening from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. So this is ideally what you would want to happen on each one of these days during those times for you to just kind of think through when do your habits fit in? When does your rest time fit in? When does your workout fit in? You know, so instead of just saying, I'm going to be working out this, this month, well, plugging it in, where does that actually fit in your routine for the month is very helpful. Then this is before every month too, you have five priorities, a top pri five priorities for your month. Then you have a top five goals for your month, meal ideas, a big section for the month to choose from, and then important dates for the month. And then you can track up to eight habits for your month here. So their planner, while it doesn't have a huge goal section up front, I feel like it is very goal and habit oriented with having these four pages to prepare you before every single month because these are things that most people don't think about, but if we would actually sit down and think about them before every month, I feel like we would be more successful at what we want to happen that month, how we want our life and schedule to run that month. So you can be tracking up to eight habits. Then you go into your weekly layouts for the month. Let's look at a pen test before we look at the weekly layout. Here is my pen test page. I tested all my normal pens. It is 70 pound paper or 105 GSM. It is a little cream, but not very cream. Your paper is smooth. It does not have tooth to it, but it is not slick at all. 
So it is just a very smooth, nice quality paper. Here is your pen test on the back. I tested all my normal pens there and you can see absolutely nothing is bleeding through. Very little ghosting through, as you can see there. And that is your 70 pound paper. It actually just feels like a very nice paper and you get that kind of look of kind of the old school look with the cream and cream is easier on the eyes, cream paper. So that is the story behind the paper. I have my 20% off code, Amanda's favorite. This cover is called The Countryside. This weekly layout is the same in all their planners, whether you get the undated or the dated 12 month or 17 month, their weekly layout is the same. Of, the undated is a little bit different because you don't have some of the dated elements. So we'll lay that side by side and I will show it to you. You have your month at a glance right here and you have the week you are on bolded already for you. I really appreciate that, having the week you're on bolded. You have the month and the year up here and then you have a top three priorities for your week. You have 15 to-do list tick offs here with the little circles to be able to check and mark off what you have done or if you are like me and you also mark a line through it because I'm that type of person. Then you have dates and times to remember for the week. So that's a nice little highlight of like maybe big appointments or big things to remember. A note section and best parts of this week. I love planners that encourage you to do that. There are a couple other planners I can think of that I have done that in before. And I really enjoy it when I do that. I don't always do it. But when I'm prompted like this in a planner, it makes you do that. And I write them as the week goes on, just as things happen. Because if not, I will forget. And I actually just love to have that at the end of the week to look through. Because sometimes when you feel like a week has taken you down, you know, maybe the week didn't go the way you wanted. When you look at this, you think even with all the things that happened, you can look at all the good. So that is your what I call like a weekly dashboard page. And then you have your weekly layout for planning. In your two-page spread, you have a lot of room for listing. You have a lot of room for organizing your week. And then you have room for your appointments and to-dos for the day. You have six different tick-off boxes for each day, except for Saturday and Sunday share a space. There is only three each. This might be a great planner also to use for work. Or if you are someone who runs a social media account and you do most of your posting on Monday through Friday, this might also be a great planner for that because you could write what posts are going up on what days and even post ideas and what you're planning on filming or the post you're crafting that week could be over here. So I find this layout works really well for social media also. Without these being labeled, I actually like that they didn't label them. Like one side isn't put to be your timed and one isn't put to be like tasks. You could do all tasks here. You could always put timed appointments on the left or you could always put timed appointments on the right or you could have work on the left and home on the right. So it's just really open. All they are are just your checkoff boxes. So it's really up to you and how you utilize that. This would also make a great college planner being as you probably don't have classes on Saturday and Sunday. And here you can list all the studies, tests, quizzes, homework, I just find this type of layout very versatile for a lot of different situations. I could also see this being used for homeschool. I'm just thinking outside the box of normal uses where you list what your main focus is and what you're working on that week. And then each day you outline what actually gets done out of that. I also love it for that. Here is your blank layout. I love rounded corners. When you get to the end of your month, you go into your next monthly layout. And like I said, with your six weeks here, you never are sharing a box. And I know that bothers some people a lot. Your holidays are on here in light gray at the bottom of the day. And as you can see, we can see the incoming month. And that is really helpful for me personally. I like that on a monthly layout. And then you can see going into your next month for looking ahead because I'm always thinking, oh, when I'm in the middle of this week, what is coming up though on the rest of this week without having to flip to that monthly layout? Then you go into your monthly planning pages. Like I said, this is here for every single month. Every single month you get to come in and have a fresh start on thinking about what do I want my routines and habits to be? What do I want my days to flow like? And what do I want my schedule to be for that month? I actually think this is a really great thing to have monthly 
to look at that and think about it and be really intentional about it. And then your habits for that month, it's like a big fresh start every month to think about and revamp what was working last month, what might be changing in the seasons and your schedule this next month, and to be able to just have a fresh start with redoing your schedule and your habits and your goals. Then you go into your weekly layout. So that is the flow. And every month you have those extra planning pages. When you get to the end of this planner, you do have some notes pages. At the end, you have best memories from this year where you can write the date and the memory. I would be noting that throughout the year because I would never remember those at the end of the year. I mean, you might remember a few of the big ones, but a lot of times I find the best memories are not even always the biggest things, the vacation or the big events. So I would note those throughout the year and that would be a really fun list to look back on. I've maybe done this one or two years. It has been totally worth doing it. I love having it in one list. Okay, then you have notes pages where you have a huge header and then light gray lines for several notes pages. You have two, four, five notes pages at the end. So not a huge amount, but a few. And that is the end of your pen and pillar. So that is the main layout for all of these but let's look at the undated versus the dated we're going to lay them next to each other these are the book cloth covers so they very much feel like linen to me they don't feel like they're heavily coated in anything i mean they feel like they're coated not like a heavy coating and this is their first year i believe to ever have these book cloth covers you do have the o-ring binding in these the color changes based on your cover color, like this is a dark brass color, but if you pick this cover color, you have a silver. So you can look on the website and see what color rings. I do like that they brought in some beautiful artwork into the back of the cover here in your planner. I really like that, that adds a lot. Since you're looking at the inside of your planner more, I feel like, than the outside. This one is undated. It is, and it is $65. You can use my 20% off code, don't forget, Amanda's Favorites, and the name of this cover is a Marigold. So let's look at the difference in the undated. You have the same important dates, the same goals for this year, but then it's a different layout. Because it's undated, you go into, you still have six weeks, but you're going to date your own months, and so you go into your monthly layouts are all up front here. Your monthly layout, your monthly overview page, and your monthly, your schedule, morning routine, evening routine pages. That just goes month after month up front here. So you have your monthly layout, you have your monthly overview, habit tracker, and then your monthly schedule page and the next month. All your months and all those monthly pages are up front. Then when you get to the end of all your months, you go into all your weekly layouts are just straight through since it is undated. And let's look at the undated versus the dated so you can see the difference. So you, of course, you don't have a calendar up here. So the month moves to the middle of the page. The to-dos bump up just a little bit and your priorities line up with them then over here. So that just looks a little bit different. Same dates and times to remember, same best parts of this week. You get a little bit more note section since the to-dos bumped up in the undated. And then on this side where you write in the date, they do have the days of the week for you written out, of course, but you will write in the date there. But other than that, the layout is exactly the same. And with the book cloth covers, you still have rounded pages here, even though the covers are not rounded. So that is something to note. So this is how the undated flows. You just have all your weeks here. And when you get to the end, you have these same pages. You have best memories from this year. You have five notes pages. And then your planner ends. That is your weekly undated. Undated is a great option to have if you want to start in it anytime you want to. If you just want to be able to play around and try out the layout and you don't want to be wasting a whole planner if you know you're not going to use it for the entire year, then it can just sit on your shelf and you can pull it back out when you want to use it. So undated is a really great option for that if you're not sure that you're gonna commit to that layout and you don't wanna have to go in there to redate, to reuse it. 
Now, this is the 17-month dated versus the 12-month dated that I shared with this cute rabbit cover, which was called Countryside. This cover, I believe, is called Sienna, and you have a beautiful flower design inside this one also. This is the August start for 17 months, and the 17 months is a little bit more expensive because you have more paper in there. It is $75 for the 17 months. Everything flows the same in this book. All the dates up front, your goals for the year, your monthly layouts, then your routines for the month, your habit tracker, your monthly overviews, and then your weekly layouts. Your planner is just thicker. I can definitely feel a difference in the bulk of this planner because it is 17 months and it has the same pages at the end, best memories from this year and the notes and the beautiful artwork at the end. So that is your 17 month versus your 12 month in here. And this one that is undated, I believe this is 12 months because it definitely feels like a 12 month. It was not checked off here on front which one this was, but it definitely, it feels like a 12 month. So you can see the difference in the bulk of the books. Hopefully seeing the bulk of the books and you can definitely feel a difference in weight of them when you're just holding them in your hand because that is five extra months, you guys. Five extra months, that's almost a half a year. That makes a difference in the bulk of the book. I can definitely feel it when holding these two and the weight. I will weigh these on my kitchen scale and put it up there for you, you know, but if you're wanting something less bulky then or if you love a bulky planner, see, I know some people who love it's not a super fat planner though. Compared to any planners out there, it's it's actually not super big at all. But I'm just saying 12 months seems so light and so portable. And the 17 months seems more like the weight of most other planners. So that's just something to take into consideration. I would love to hear all your thoughts down in the comments below. I know lots of people actually tried out their notebooks after my last video. And I know a couple people even told me they tried out their planner. These have just launched with all their new dated. And I would love to hear anyone who tried out their stuff. Let me know your thoughts. I've heard only good things. And even if you haven't tried out their stuff, I would just love to hear if this piques your interest. What do you think about this layout? Let's have a conversation. I always love to know how you guys are feeling about a planner that I review. So leave it all down in the comments. If you are purchasing from Pen and Pillar at any time, do not forget to use my 20% off code, Amanda's Favorites. You have to type that in at checkout to get the discount. Thank you for spending your time here with me today. I truly do value your time, and I am really grateful that you come here and spend some of it with me. Take care of yourself, you guys. Take care of others, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Have a good week.